All right, let's get this party started. What's up, everybody? I'm Laura Davidson with Shore. Joining me is... Mario. <laughs> <laughs> That I'm Mario. Question, Mario. <laughs> What's my name again? Oh man. Hello. Hello. And welcome to our stream. We're going to be talking about a few of our favorite things. Why? Because it's the holiday season. Yes. I know it's not December yet, but it's going to be here in two days. And I am not prepared for this. I Mario, can't believe I Thanksgiving for. is has come and gone. It's like it's poop, in poop. the past. Yes. Like and even Black Friday is like note, poop, poop. Oh, I know. It's Cyber Monday. There's Cyber Tuesday now. I don't even know. But just a, you know, public service announcement that this will be somewhat geared towards uh, the U.S. region here. But we are going to be telling you about our favorite things, which happen to be our favorite things all year. But I don't know, especially right now, because some of them might be on a little promo. Just saying. Yeah. Now's the time. Um, Now is the time. (laughs) Now is the time, especially if you know people who are interested in different types of mics or are into audio or musicians or whatnot. It's a great opportunity. Yeah, because we're going to be talking about not only great gift ideas for yourself, because I mean, let's face it, musicians, we like to shop, right, for ourselves. But if you're on here because you need to know what to buy for your favorite musician, especially drummers, we have some really cool options for you. So I'm just going to put in the chat here one of the segments of the special offers but please feel free to reach out in the chat and ask us any questions as we're going along but i i thought i would start with my favorite thing that i happen to be talking into right now which is the ksm8 this is a dynamic microphone that is perfect for speech applications vocal applications it has something called dual dyne technology meaning it has two diaphragms in it which effectively cancel out what's called proximity effect. So even when I get up on this microphone, if I were to do this on a regular dynamic microphone, you would hear it start to get really boomy and just not, it it gets a little fatiguing. This KSM-8 does not have that. It eliminates proximity effect. It also has an insanely large sweet spot, which is hard to demonstrate on, you know, without having another microphone to A-B it to. But normal dynamic microphones, if I went off axis even a little bit, you would not still be able to hear me. But this thing is like, it's almost like a magnet for my voice. And I always say that microphones are beautiful but dumb creatures they don't reach out and hear us this one kind of almost fudges it and feels like it does so it's called the ksm8 and i'm using it in nickel it also comes in black uh and i'm using it with this cool little gadget right here that we launched not too long ago called the mvx2u mario you want to tell them a little bit about this fun little sure guy? yeah so mvx2u is this guy here and this is an interface that we launched a few months back and what it's going to do is turn your XLR microphone into digital, into a USB-C, so you plug it right into a device like your laptop. Now, the great thing about this um, interface is that it um, has phantom power, so your favorite condenser microphone, you can uh, use this uh, interface with that microphone. Now, you can use this with any microphone. It doesn't have to be a Shure mic. Um, it'll work with any XLR microphone. So the other great thing too, including, I'm sorry, the SM7B was what I was going to say. Correct. Yes. It has enough gain to, to, um, to push that SM7B. Um, but the other great thing too about it is that it also comes with an app and that app is going to, uh, kind of be your audio engineer for whatever situation you're doing. We're going to show you that app here in just a sec. Um, but yes. it's going to be for the microphone that I'm using. But before we jump into that, I don't know, Laura, if you have anything more you want to talk about with the mic that you're... I know that's like your favorite just, mic. It is. I mean, it really is. Because if you have people that you've worked with in your life, your career, your musical journey, who have not had the best microphone technique, one of the things that they often suffer from is is not getting the mic close enough to their mouth. I, I like to keep three fingers off the mic. That's just how I am. That's how I've been trained. But if you're working at a house of worship, if you, you have a worship leader who keeps the, the microphone down, you know, close to their chest, this can be a really good option for that. And it's not really ever discounted. So it's, it's, it's exciting. It's a cool option to get it. And especially in the nickel color, it's just, it's so cool. Yeah, it's a smooth sounding mic, like um, 
you really don't need to do a whole lot of audio treatment with that microphone. It really does sound great. It has a really smooth frequency response um, out of yes. all the all of our performance microphones. And cutting down on the handling noise and stuff, it's great. So I really like that. But if microphone. you don't want a mic in your shot, which we, we always recommend that you do because it's going to sound the best, you can do what Mario's doing today. What you doing yeah. over there? All right. So I am using the MV88 Plus. Let me uh, go full screen here. So this is the microphone that I am using. It is a stereo condenser microphone um, with the ability to change polar patterns, which is great because um, if you're using it to record different situations, like you're a content creator, you're a streamer, all that good stuff, uh, the MV88 Plus is very versatile, so it'll handle a bunch of different types of audio recording situations. So I'm using the MV88 Plus. I'll show you. I have uh, the video kit up here. So there's two different versions. There's the um, stereo USB, which is what I'm using, and then there's the video kit. So the video kit and the stereo USB, they're, the actual, they're actually the same microphone. It's just the video kit will come with the phone clamp and the mini tripod here um, and shorter cables and actually a cable for lightning so you could plug it into a phone. Uh, the stereo USB is designed more for the home and that's the one I'm using because it comes with longer cables and whatnot. So let me just pull this off here and show you a close-up of the microphone. It is a stereo condenser microphone which means it has three elements so you'll notice it has a front uh, left and right and also is a USB connection and then it has headphone monitoring directly on the mic itself. Uh, now it is a condenser microphone, so for those of you who don't know what condenser mics are, they're commonly found in recording studios and they're more they're designed to pick up more detail in sound. So if you had acoustically treated walls and for and uh, acoustically treated walls in a studio um, atmosphere, that's where you'll find more uh, condenser mics. Um, and that is what an MV88 Plus is. Now, we talked about it, it works with an app. I'm going to show you that app here. Okay, so um, the great thing about the MV88 Plus that I like is the fact that it comes with this free app, SurePlus Motive app. It's free to download for iOS um, or Android if you're using the video kit, but it's also free for desktop, so if you're using Mac or you're using uh, Windows, it'll work on both. And right now I'm using it with my MacBook, so I have the it. The desktop version. The desktop version, correct. Yeah. So um, you have a different, you have a couple different things here, and the um, interface that Laura was using, the MVXTU, uses the same app. However, it does have a, a couple different things that are going to be different. This yeah, app for interface. Right, so this app for the MV88 Plus is the only one that allows you to change polar patterns, which is really cool, and I'll demonstrate that here in a sec. So you have control over gain, you have your monitor mix, and then you also have some DSP presets depending on like what situation you're recording. Um, so you also have the ability here to change your polar patterns. And right now I'm in cardioid, which means it's going to pick up everything in front, nothing behind. I can do a quick demo of that. So if I turn the mic around, I kind of go away. But then when I go back, <laughs> you can hear me along with all the uh, exterior noise of the cables. <laughs> uh, it also has the, let me go to, whoops, this one here. So it has the ability to kind of stretch your stereo width. So if you had a pair of headphones and you're watching the stream, this would be a good time to put those on so you can get the full experience of sort of um, how this app is changing uh, the sound of the microphone. Um, if you don't, you could probably still hear it on your phone or on your uh, laptop. So I can widen that stereo width. This is great for like ambient recording, um, mm -hmm. recording instruments, um, recording... Field recording. Field recording, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and then we have mono bidirectional, which is very interesting. <laughs> you really heard that in the headphones if <laughs> you've been using that. <laughs> uh, because it'll pick up on both sides here. So there's the right side, and then here's my left side. So, so this if is we were great. doing an interview in real life, you can just put it on the table. Put it on the table and record, um, you know, two people. Equally. You know, yeah. Or two, two musicians. Yeah, um, would be totally. another. 
That's a great use case. Oh, yeah. And the app on the phone is is very similar. I have mine in light mode right now. You can switch it into dark mode, so it even looks more like the desktop variant. Um, but same controls within that app. So just if you're want to know what it looks like on your phone as opposed to on the desktop, it's very similar, but this is the whole kit, and I'm using an Android. But like Mario said, it comes with a lightning cable, so you can use it with your iOS devices as well. Yeah. So it's a great microphone. Um, I'm using it right now for this stream. Um, super easy to use. I'm plugging it right into my laptop and then I'm uh, running the app and getting the sound that I want and I'm ready to go. So it's that easy. It's one of my favorite mics for especially recording here at the house because maybe I'm recording in different rooms and this mic is versatile enough to where I can get the sound that I need um, and I can record it right to my phone if I wanted to. So a lot of options there. And again, that's yes. the MV88 Plus. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm using. Um, so we're both using creator, something different here. In your life, a podcaster. I can't say enough good things about the MV88 Plus because I take it with me when I travel, which we do a lot for work at Shore. And I do my podcast every week. And a lot of times I'm recording remotely and I'm recording in a hotel room. And I can't say how incredible it's been to have that one particular mic because I'll, I'll either travel with that or my MV7, which is a great USB XLR hybrid mic, but the MV88 Plus is even smaller. So I can set it up yeah. on the desktop. I've podcasted from in my jammies, you know, cause I just didn't feel like getting all fancy with a big old mic on a boom arm. And it sounds amazing. Yeah, so. it's a great little mic. It's yes. my favorite mics. Uh, to use uh, for everything. So I can use this even if I'm doing a conference call. We do a lot of conference calls here too. Uh, we so. do a lot of those, yes. yes. So yeah, very Which, versatile. Oh, Ron Yall says SM7DB is his favorite. I Ooh. am a big fan of the SM7DB as well, which just launched not too long ago. So yeah. that is the SM7B with a built-in preamp. So right. if you're looking to have a microphone that you want the classic, standard, legendary, sure sound for your podcasting, content creation, studio. Get the SM7 dB. You can engage that preamp, either 18 or 28 dB boost, and not have to have any other extraneous things. So it's a great mic. So right. glad you have one of those, Ron. Only awesome. thing you need is fan and power, and the MVXTU actually provides that. If you That's could a see, call. my dB is right <laughs> nice there. Nice and <laughs> It's much bigger in real life. <laughs> it's currently being life. used right now, so yes, I would, otherwise I'd show it close. So no, mine's being used over on the other side of this setup. Um, nice. Yeah, it's a great, great microphone, and that is one of our favorite things. But if you're not really, you know, ready to jump that far in, we do have some cool bundles that we've got with our MV7X right now, which is mm -hmm. the XLR variant of our mv7 which i have uh, mine right here oh you look at you you beat me again i got mine too right. no no you're fine so this is this is a great microphone for streaming podcasting uh getting a nice close directional sound that sounds absolutely professional and we're selling it with this awesome boom arm that I'm using, which you can't really see, but it has this cool short, there we go, short branding on it. It's a Gator boom arm. I love it. And so that is something worth checking out, clicking that link and checking out on our Shore special offers page, which no matter where you are, if there's a special offer running, that's where you're gonna be finding it. Um, so that's a great solution because then you just need that the boom arm that comes with it, an XLR cable and an interface, and you're good to go. So very cool solution. Yeah, ME7X, a great addition to our dynamic yes. microphone family. It's amazing. Yes. Um, there is uh, a little bit of a promo going on too, that you should check out with the SM7B and boom arms and headphones and cables. I'm just gonna say that if you're in the US. <laughs> so take a look, yeah. just take a perusal, um, but one of the things we haven't really touched on much is that both of us are monitoring in real time. You can't really see mine because I've got a whole lot of hair, but <laughs> I've got our uh, limited edition green and Mario has the, what do we call it? Indigo, I believe. Purple. Um, 
the purple, yeah, the purple <laughs> variants of our SU215s. And we're monitoring directly from our microphones or interface. So I'm I'm plugged directly into my MVX2U. Mario's plugged into the MV88 Plus. And that's see key. Your cable right, right here. There. Yeah. Yep. I know. I would normally have an extension cable, but I just I couldn't find it today. So here it is, but you would run it back down and, you know, be a little slicker. Um, so, but it's great. And it's so important when you're doing something like this, when you're live streaming, that you're able to hear not only yourself, but the person that you're talking with on your stream, if you're doing a guest stream. So I can hear myself, I can hear Mario all coming through my MVX2U and same for him on his 88 plus. So that's, yeah. that's really key because you want to make sure you're listening so that you know if you're clipping, meaning overloading right. the microphone and being too loud and having distortion, or if you're too quiet and you're too thin and you're too far away. God, the sweet spot in this thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it sounds great. It's awesome. Uh, it's really, maybe I'll start using this all the time. I know, right? Yes. So the great thing about the, um, the earphones, especially the SC215, is that they'll provide sound isolation. So if you're not familiar with what ear, like buds or, excuse me, earphones are, um, you'll find them all, like on stage for performance. And what they right. do is create a seal in your ear so you only hear what you need to. So here's, let me just, uh, so here's my, this is basically what I'm wearing, but in the purple color. And the sound isolation comes from this guy right here. So if I were to scrunch mm -hmm. this guy up here, you'll see it go back to shape slowly. And what that's doing is creating a seal in your ear. And that's going to provide you with um, the 37 decibels of sound isolation. So like Laura was saying, when you're doing a performance or live streaming or anything, you want to make sure that you can hear yourself so you're not overloading your mic. I consider a live stream a performance, basically, right? You're in front of people live. So being able to hear yourself is very, very important. Um, and I always use... Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I always use my 215s for that because I want to be isolated and really hear what the mic sounds like. Um, yes. If I'm doing a podcast, yeah. I'm okay with headphones. Um, you know. Oh, you mean like these? Yeah. <laughs> these little things? <laughs> yes. Yeah. These are these are headphones, traditional over-ear headphones. These happen to be our SRH440A headphones, which if you have somebody who's podcasting regularly working on music, gaming, you know, listening to a lot of stuff in their headphones. These are so comfortable. They fold flat. They're very reasonably priced. They have a detachable cable, which is nice as well, and a nice carrying case. Do you have your overhead? Oh, you don't have it of these, but you want to talk about some other headphones sure. that we offer? Yeah, so um, I thought I would share three of my favorite, actually four of my favorite headphones, but... <laughs> Um, but they're all for different use cases. So I'll start with um, these guys here. So Laura showed you the 440. These are the 840As. Um, they're they're going to differ slightly um, in the fact that they have a different aesthetic. They have an, uh, a different design here on the headband, so you can wear them a lot longer for extended like sessions or whatnot. Uh, but they also have a tailored frequency response. So um, you're going to have tighter highs, extended low end, um, and that's great for not only tracking if you're a musician, but also you can do some light mixing and whatnot. So they're they're a little bit more detailed. They're they're um, they're a little bit more colored in terms of the sound, um, but um, they're great for everything as well. So if you own a studio and you're looking for a great pair of headphones, like your workhorse headphone, um, and A40s are great. And I use these all the time when I'm doing tracking and recording. I'm using the 840s. Um, these other two here, <laughs> so these are, I'm going to bring myself a little bit more forward here. Oh, those are your faves. Mine yeah, too. these are the oh, SRH 1540s. I think if I had to like have my choice of all headphones, it's the 1540s, I think, nice. are the ones that I use, um, especially like with everything. So if I want to listen to high res music, or if I'm doing um, any kind of mixing or maybe trying to master something, I'll be using these guys. A couple things about this. Close back. Um, they have a um, some aircraft grade alloy aluminum here. And what that's going to do is cut down on resonance and cut down on distortion 
to help you with volume. So a lot of times when you're listening to your music, things could get distorted, things can vibrate that you may not be aware of. These are really going to cut down on that because of the um, aircraft grade aluminum alloy. Um, but yes, these are amazing. Um, they have the detachable uh, cables here, and it comes both with sides. on both sides. It comes with two, and I just took off the uh, ear cup here, but that's fine. Okay. Um, replaceable ear cups. Replaceable ear cups. It's the okay. So I always mess up the pronun pronunciation of that. The alacante, ala. Is that how you say it? Alacant al alcantara. Alcantara. That's how you say it. <laughs> So nice and let's just uh, make things up. Like <laughs> <laughs> yes, Alcantara. Uh, so very comfortable. Again, uh, extended periods of time you can uh, wear these um, uh, headphones for your longer sessions. But for those audio files out there, um, they have a, an amazing sound. They're tailored for high end listening. Yes. And then a couple more. So these are, I like to call them the big brother to the uh, SRH 1540s. These are the 1840s. These are open back um, headphones. So uh, open back headphones will provide you a little bit more of detail in sound because you're allowing airflow into the, into the little uh, speaker that's in there. And what that's going to do is provide you with a nice detailed sound. Still has the aircraft grade aluminum alloy yoke so it'll cut down on the resonance and distortion and um they have velour let me put this these are velour <laughs> ear cuffs so yes. these are um open back or and then you have the 1540s that are the closed back and yeah, then you'll I notice for mastering mastering right long periods of time yeah where detail matters yeah and then you have one last one and this one's doesn't have to do anything with recording. <laughs> this is just something that if you're looking for an everyday pair of headphones in wireless and noise canceling, these are an amazing headphone. These are the Aonic 40s. Let me uh, go here. So Aonic 40s um, are great for the everyday uh, user, traveler, if you are airplanes, trains, taking long car rides as a passenger. These are great um, headphones for you. They're gonna sound amazing. We're putting all of that experience that we had with stage and studio from the headphones that I just showed you into something like this. 25 hour battery, Bluetooth 5, has what we call environment mode. So it'll let some of the outside world in so you're not completely sealing yourself off from what's sort of happening around you. I use environment mode a lot when I'm on an airplane so I can hear the flight attendant or if I want to talk to my neighbor, um, I put it in environment mode and I can hear everything a lot clearer. So um, yeah. these are amazing headphones. Um, I use these all the time when I travel. They're my go-tos pretty much for um, my traveling. Yes. yes. So I threw some links in the chat uh, as Mario was going through all of those beautiful headphones. So if you want to keep up and check them out, please feel free to. We had two questions come in. One from Runyal, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Do you recommend an external sound card for the Shure SM7DB microphone? External sound card, no. Interface, yes. Yes. Uh, so that would be necessary. So I hope, I, I don't know if you want to put more context in there, you're welcome to. But no, you don't need anything else, especially with the SM7DB, aside from an audio interface uh, that will plug in XLR and convert it to USB. Yeah. to get into your computer um, yeah. or go directly into a board if you're blessed to have a studio that has a console. Uh, next question from Estridente. Oh, I hope I said that right. It was just fun to say, even if I didn't. So sorry. I have an MV51 and I love it. It sounds amazing connected to my computer, but I have an Android cell phone. Me too. I haven't been able to get the USB-C cable yet. Does it sound just as incredible in the app? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, yes. I I really love uh, MV51. Me uh, too. It is an amazing microphone. Um, large diaphragm. Um, it's got that uh, DSP preset on the front. Headphone monitoring. You can actually mount it to a, a headphone or a microphone stand. Nice stand. Yep. Um, Singer songwriters. This is a great tool. Um, and then yes, you can. It has the app too, so you can use that as well. So great mic. Yes. 
So it will sound just as great going into your computer as it will going into your phone. I have used it to track many a demo uh, and I love it. So yeah. please check that out. If you're in the US, you might find a sweet surprise if you go and <laughs> check it out online. Just saying, oops, I should put MB51, but hopefully that answers that for you. So nice. great questions. And again, yeah, if you're you. watching, please ask away. We are here to answer any questions that you have. Um, but just to shift gears a little bit, we do have some other microphones that have been around for a minute, but are an incredible opportunity and offer for you to get for those drummers mm. in your life, which when we see them kind of standing on their own, we might not think this is a great solution for that. But yeah, we've got several of our beta line of microphones yes. that we wanted to talk to you about specifically. What do you want to start with Mario? Let's start with the kick drum. I love it. Yeah, Let's start with the kick. Uh, and I don't have the mic here, but I do have a picture. That's okay. And that is a the... A worth a thousand words. Yeah, the 91A, which is an amazing mic for... I, I find this mic... I use it for different purposes. One, for that really smooth, sort of airy, um, I don't know, kick drum sound, you know? Yes. Uh, like for jazz and stuff like that. But you can combine it with this guy here. Oop. And this is... Uh, <laughs> the Beta this, 52. The Beta 52 is... If you combine the two, you will get the b best of both worlds. A lot of punch here because it has a, a neodymium magnet in here to really drive through and really pick up that loud sound. But it's also super cardioid, so it's not going to pick yes. up all the rest of the air inside the kick drum. Um, yeah, each so. one of these... The, the, for the kick specifically are gate or I'm sorry, set up to have a lot of a high SPL. So yes. they can take a lot of sound pressure level and a lot of gain before feedback. So they're, they're able to capture the real punch and details of your kick drum uh, and beta 91 a settled inside and beta 52 a sit, sitting outside. Uh, so great options there. And I feel yeah. like, you know, they've been around for a minute and people know what they are, but you got to check them out if you have a drummer in your life because yeah. you're going to blow their minds if you get this for them. It's for also great dollars. for li live performance too. So um, for you yes. live engineers out there, uh, this is um, a great mic for in the studio and for on stage as well. Definitely worth keeping in the toolkit. And we also have our Beta 56 that I believe you have there. Yes. Yes. Beta 56A, which is a snare or a tom mic, but you can also use it if you are a drummer who plays and sings. Uh, this is a great way of having a focused vocal sound because all of our beta microphones are super cardioid with their pickup pattern. Super cardioid means it has a much better off axis response. So it's rejection rather. So you're not going to have a lot of bleed happening. So if you did want to have the ability to sing into a mic, that is one possible solution that can allow you to keep playing and get your vocals outside of the mix without uh, getting overpowered by the drums. So all of these mics, you gotta check them out if you haven't. It. It's, they are super cool and super yeah. durable. That's what uh, Beta is known for uh, in our line of microphones. All of our microphones are known to be super, super durable and last the test of time, but especially Beta because they have hardened steel grills and neo neodymium magnets for better response. Mm -hmm. And they're just made to, uh, go out on the road and take a beating, keep yeah. going. So they're tanks. They are. They're Some very, cool very options. durable. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Uh, so yeah. So if you have any drummers or musicians out there, we also have the beta 98 that we wanted to talk about, which is a very cool microphone that has a drum mount. If you're looking to use that, um, that you can also, That's... nope. Next one. There we go. Uh, can you see that? that? Uh, Oops. Yes, there we go. You're fine. Perfect. <laughs> that just... was it. But you can get the A98D drum mount that's specifically for the Beta 98 so that you can have it miking your instruments, your snares, your drums, your individual drums. So that's something cool to think about as well. And you can yeah. also use it for different instruments. You know, if you need um, something for horns, the Beta 98 is a great option. Yeah. Um, yeah. What else do we want to talk about here? We got so many fun things it's kind of hard to know what else to to touch on yeah i think the best thing to do is check out um sure.com and uh yep. 
you know, if you're looking uh, for any type of microphone for any situation, you could type in, you know, looking uh, mic for guitar, you know, mm -hmm. mic for bass, amps, um, you know, and we have a lot of options out there that'll just pop up and you could take a look. Um, but yeah. we're, we do have a really um, uh, opportunity right now for deals and whatnot. So definitely yes. take advantage of we that. We forgot one of the most important, the Beta 58 is also yeah. something that... Oh my Beta gosh, 58. how did I forget that? Beta 58, live vocal <laughs> I microphone. Don't see, I don't have my Beta 58. I don't me. have mine either, but uh, it looks like an SM58 with a blue ring around yes. it, and, but it also has that hardened grill, uh, so it's more drop dent resistant than our right. SM58, which, fun fact, with your SM58, which I do, I think I have a dented one right here, actually. <laughs> yeah, just for funsies. So the purpose of this windscreen being able to have these dents is it acts like a crumple zone. So if you have seen these and bars and venues and houses of worship and you've seen them all dented up and you thought, wow, yeah, I don't know about that, it will sound the same because it's meant to take that impact and not harm the diaphragm that is hiding underneath this. So that's what that crumple zone is for. And this is the inside of my SM58. And this is my ULXD handheld wireless transmitter if you're looking for wireless we have a incredible offering there but we're not going to open that can of worms and if you need a new grill we make these we have them available on shore.com so you can get new grills for most of our mics but especially the sm58 because the rk143g in case you're wanting that super rolls off the tongue product name um <laughs> <laughs> you can order that uh, Corey, have y'all talked about TW2 MV88 Plus or new GLXD? Great questions. We have talked about the MV88 Plus because Mario is talking into it right I now. Am. But TW2 is a great adapter, which yes. allows you to take your wired earbuds that I'm wearing right now, and you pop it off of the cable, and you can put it onto the TW2, which is a wireless adapter that allows you to have Bluetooth listening. Did Mario have one right there? I think I did. Win. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You should see our desks, by the way, people. Like, <laughs> it's just, like very, it's a I know I have trove. a Beta 58 around here somewhere. It's I just oh, don't know Lord. where. So know. this is I, the TW2, yeah. and these are the adapters for it. So basically what you're doing is making any Shure earphones wireless with the TW2. A couple great things. Eight-hour battery. The, um, the case charges the actual adapter. Um, and the case will hold three charges, so you get like 32 hours of, of a total battery. Um, it's got the environment mode that we talked about with the Aeonic 40s. All of our Bluetooth products have that um, environment mode where you can allow some of the outside world in. Um, it works, they all work with the Sure Plus Play app. Um, and that app, you can do a couple different things. You could change tones and prompts. You can do firmware updates. It'll tell you about your battery life. If you're using the Aonic 40, it'll put it in um, noise canceling mode. If you're using TW2, then it's going to um, allow you to use environment mode. You can do firmware updates. You can do all that great stuff. But this yes. is, let me give you a close up of what that looks like there. And the earphone just snaps right on there. And then you have a little button here for pause, um, for skip. Um, and the only thing that you would need the app for or your phone is for the volume. Um, but you also have the ability to do EQ. So you can, um, in the app, you can do your own. I wonder if I could pull my app up. I could show you. But you can do your own EQ and pull that up um, every time you turn on one of um, our Bluetooth products. So if and you do own to the and device, store it, which right, is important. You can do the hardware yeah. EQ, correct? Yes, which is See cool. If I can... That's all right. That's so this is what it looks like. The Sure oh, Plus Play go. app. Amazing. Yeah. Um, and the one thing, too, about the app, here's the EQ portion. You can see that. Um, and you could change your EQ. You could do a custom EQ. You could do a preset, and then you save it, and it'll do a hardware EQ. It'll save to your device. Uh, mm -hmm. But the other thing that it is, is it's a music player, too. So you can actually populate your own high-resolution files onto a playlist. And then if you had, like, Aonic 50, um, you would 
be able to stream that in high res. Um, so there's a lot of really cool features on the Shirt Plus Play app. Something I highly mm -hmm. recommend to download if you own a Bluetooth product from Shure. So. Yes. But thanks for the and question. TW2. Yeah, awesome. thank you, Corey. Um, also, GLXD, Corey mentioned that. It's GLXD Plus, which is our latest and greatest wireless system that we launched uh, last spring. And we have a great uh, guitar-only variant, which is a floor pedal form factor for the receiver, which is super cool, meaning you can have a stomp box floor pedal with a built-in guitar tuner that is your wireless unit and then have a body pack that goes to your guitar. So you have wireless freedom. And there's also, of course, handheld and lavalier variants, desktop variant, rack-mounted variant, but that form factor of the pedal is so cool. Yeah. And that's called the GLXD 16 Plus. So if you have friends and family out there who are guitarists and they've been wanting to go wireless, it makes a world of difference. Yeah. And Corey says, does the app support FLAC files? That's a so good question. It is. The ACK. The, the ACK. <laughs> the app <laughs> the ACK. will allow you to download your FLAC files. So it does support that. Um, yep. You would. We have a series of videos called How Do You Do That? Um, on the same channel that you're seeing this on YouTube. And um, yes. there's a tutorial there on how to import your... Um, your high res or your FLAC files onto the app. Um, and then you'll be able to, you just, your whatever device you're listening to in terms of like earphones or headphones, you just need to make sure that they're um, allowed to, you know, stream high res. So the Aonic 50 Gen 2s, they do that. Um, and the Aonic 50s, they do that as well because they have a built in LDAC that allow you for that high resolution stream. So, um, but yes. Uh, you can populate all that stuff. Yes. Thanks for and the And be question. sure to like and subscribe so you are notified when we're going live. This is live on Shore.com, but also on our Shore Creators channel where the How Do You Do That content series lives, where we go, thank you, Corey, for tuning in, where you can go and get your questions answered. We tend to pull them from frequently asked questions on Shore.com under yes. support. If you have questions that we're not answering here, you can always ask that and they will be responded to by our an incredibly talented group of applications engineers who are geniuses. So yeah. <laughs> we pull from their brilliant answers and we create video versions of their brilliance. So right. thank you to Pete and Chris and Jim and Gino and all the other guys on that team and gals. Right you guys are total stars. Totally. Um, yeah, yeah. So those are some of our favorite things. I don't think yes. I've forgotten any of mine. I was trying to see, you know, looking over our yeah. list if there's anything else headphones earphones microphones yeah there's something for everyone even if you thought i have every microphone i need i guarantee you you do not <laughs> it's just like yeah. there's never too many guitars or too many microphones if you are an engineer you need more for your mic cabinet if you're a musician you need more for your rig if you're a singer take the plunge get the <laughs> microphone that's going to work for your voice right. invest in your instrument instrumentalists get all the fun stop doing that You're yeah worth it. ask totally. for that mic <laughs> <laughs> cool right any on. other questions anybody the last chance to get some questions in i hope that you are going into this holiday season with uh excitement and joy and you know a little bit of peace it can get pretty crazy but yes i'm excited i'm looking forward to it me too and um yeah, yeah. And uh, we will be back next month, of mm -hmm. course. Um, so be sure to, um, you know, like Laura said, follow us here so you could be alerted to every time we do go live. Um, and we'll be talking about some exciting things in the future. So. Next month, we are joining you live from the NAM show, which is very exciting. Yes. Right? Or no, it'll be December still. December still. I lied. You, I just got we'll so be, excited because we're going to be doing that. <laughs> you will, we will be, you'll be joining us here in our offices. In our space. But we will be live at NAM. Yes, we, we will. We will be. And so if mark you your tuned, calendars for yeah. two months from now. And if you tuned in last month, we were at TwitchCon. We were know, live we're in everywhere. TwitchCon. So, yeah. Everywhere that you want to be. But nice. Anyway, if you have any questions, please throw them in the comments because we do check that regularly as well. Be sure to visit shore.com. Ask any questions there on the support side of things. 
Find us if you need to. I'm at Laura Clapp Music if you need to find me there. And we're always here to answer your questions. I hope you got yes. some gift ideas for yourself and for others. And <laughs> have a great rest of your day, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Have a great day.